What's good, Washington Commander fans? All right, I'm back at you with another one. All right, seems like um, the Washington Commanders is boasting up their offensive line even more. The Commanders have signed Jerry Jones Smith, former um, – he's a member of the all NF, um, XFL team, has signed with us. Um, now, the team has announced the signing of him. On Tuesday, but there was no corresponding move uh, needed to clear space for the 90-man 90, 90 roster. Now, Jones Smith spent his 2023 season with the XF um, L team, the St. Louis Battlehawks, and he spent almost his time in the Alliance Arena football team, which also name is the Commanders. How fitting. <laughs> so, but... Through all of that, um, he had a um, he uh, he had his brief stint with them um, in 2019. Now he also has stints with teams in the NFL, such as the Texans, Dolphins, 49ers, Raiders, and Ravens. He made three regular season appearances for the Raiders in 2020, and three more with the Ravens in 2021. Most of his snaps in those appearances came on special teams. Okay, so would that would do that mean he he will be a special teamer or he will find his way on a special team? I look at it and if they sign him, they hoping that this guy could be the deal that could help you know help do a lot of um could help do a lot of a lot of different things for us. Um, we need more depth on the offensive line, even though we we. We signed some in the free agency. We signed, um, we picked up in the draft, but at the same time, I think we have to continue to build depth. Um, we got to we got to continue to build depth because that's the only way that we're going to be able to um, show up and bolster our offensive line and making sure that our offensive line stays intact the way it's needed. Now he is 27 years old, so. Um, don't know um, how much more. He, I mean, he's still on the young side. He hasn't hit 30. So, I mean, if he pans out, you could roughly say, well, hey, by the time he's 30, 32, he'll be winding down, then you can look for a replacement. Um, I mean, he went undrafted in 20, 20, 2018 out of the University of Pittsburgh. Um, but, you know, throughout his, you know, he's bounced around so many times. Um, and then he was cut by the Ravens, you know, when they had to make their 53-man roster. Hopefully, he can make our roster. Hopefully, he could, you know, he could stick with us. You know, I mean, we did, like I said, we brought in a lot, a lot of offensive help. Um, but it's a wide, con uh, wide open contest for who grabs a starting spot. Now, Joan Smith is bound to put a little pressure on those higher than him on the death truck. And that's where, that's what you need. I mean, especially, I would love to see him take Charles, Charles Leno's spot. Good gracious. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, Smith is, I think he's like 6'7". He's pretty tall. You know what I'm saying? So, I, me personally, I hope he, I hope, I hope he puts pressure on um, I hope he put pressure on Charles Leno, move him out. I mean, just to be honest with you, I just I don't even I don't like Charles Leno that well. I mean, especially after he gave up all those sacks last year, mm -mm. And, and that um in that game. So hopefully, um, hopefully, um, this guy could come in and put pressure on put pressure on um. Charles Leno and some some guys that we think don't deserve to be on his team. <laughs> so I really think I'm I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully this is you know this gets done, you know gets done and do do as much as possible where we could find us solidify us a good offensive group this year. We really need great offensive alignment this year. So that's it for that. Um that little um, nugget right there. So we got more depth on the offensive line. Hopefully he can come in and fit in and put pressure on it. And I, 
Hopefully he can start. Like I said, he's six seven. I think he's around about three three something. Um, he's been around. He's twenty seven years old. So, um, and that that would be good if you get somebody that height. And you know, like I said, they he did had a great um, XFL season with the um, Battle Hawks. So hopefully he could come in and provide. Hopefully Washington could look at some of the XFL players and see what nuggets they could get out of there. Me, uh, me personally, I still think you should be looking for linebacker, but that's just my, <laughs> that's my thing. You know, hopefully we can look at linebacker and grab somebody out there and everything like that. Um, <laughs> and not to bring up our division rivals, but you see what the Eagles did. They end up getting going and get out of speedy, speedy receiver, um, Charleston Rambo from University of Miami, my um, college team. So, I mean, we got to for us to continue to be competitive and stay paced. We got to continue to make counter moves that our other NFC rivals are making. We can't just stay pat and say, "Hey, this is what the product that's going on the field." We got to continue to add pieces here and there because our division rivals is, is moving up. So, but again, hit that like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell anytime I drop a hardcore video on you. Until then, Commander fans. Peace out.